Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the ISS. I'm Dan Hewitt. SpaceX's Dragon cargo craft returned to Earth this week, completing the company's third resupply mission. On Sunday, it was removed from the Earth-facing side of the Harmony node by the station's robotic arm after being docked for a month. Just hours later, it splashed down into the Pacific, returning approximately 3,500 pounds of cargo and science samples. The next trio to head to the station is down in Baikonur, Kazakhstan in their final week of preparation. Reed Wiseman, Max Sarayev, and Alexander Gerst conducted their final suit thick checks and took part in ceremonial activities such as raising their respective country's flags and a traditional tree planting. The three are scheduled to launch on Wednesday, May 28th. Commander Steve Swanson has been working on the RESIST tubule experiment this week. It's a biological science study taking place to clarify the mechanism of gravity resistance in plants. Gravity resistance played a very important role in the establishment of land-based plants some 450 million years ago. Better understanding this mechanism will be instrumental in enabling efficient plant production in microgravity, a key capability for sustaining human life in space. This week's social media question comes from the Rocket Science Club at Dugan Middle School. They ask, how much thrust does it take to launch a Soyuz? Well, like most rockets, the Soyuz operates in stages. The first stage consists of four strap-on boosters and a central core engine, which initially provides over 930,000 pounds of thrust. After almost two minutes, those strap-on boosters fall off, and the core stage continues to burn, providing between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds. Third and final stage provides just under 67,000 pounds of thrust, and that's the simplified answer. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.